Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what is showing up for you guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What is going on for Pisces? Phoenix Rising. Follow your heart. The answer will find you. There could be a fire sign. And the answer is yes. Under the deck it says yes. So some of you, you have a fire sign that you love and that loves you. It could be a re uh, relationship that's coming back around. This person could be reaching out to you. But the answer will find you. That means something is coming towards you. What is going on for Pisces? Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, and a life partner. You also have sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking, and ascending. Learning and expanding, transcending, a new phase, preparing for union. All right. What is going on for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, feeling way down, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Coins. Someone is ready for commitment. So I'm getting somebody who maybe... I don't know, something was blocking this or they weren't ready before, or you weren't ready, Pisces, is coming back around. This person may be moving or they just may be feeling very way down. Seven of Cups is in the hidden position, which is what you don't see. Oh, something's ending. Wow, Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Wands. Let me do one more. Knight of Cups. Hmm. Might be a Scorpio, not a fire sign. For some of you, know it says it was a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. They could have fire in their chart. Somebody's happy because something's over. Something that was um, unclear. Seven of Cups can be unclear. There's a clarity now. Or again, it could be um, something that you manifested. Sometimes I see the Seven of Cups as a manifestation. Somebody wants commitment. Ace of Coin. We've got the Four of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Nine of Wands. Someone doesn't want to give up on this. They may ask for forgiveness. Somebody is this kind of like... They're willing to like fight the fight, Pisces. It's like they're not ready to throw in the towel. And I feel like they're going to give you every reason why you guys shouldn't break up. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. So in other words, they're coming to you and they're saying, let's work this out. Let's work together three of coins. Or the other option is just to wait. I don't think this person wants to wait any longer. How they're feeling is heavy hearted, ten of wands. Okay, I think this person is always trying to be right. I think this person plays like they have the upper hand, but I think that's getting old. I think this person loves you, Pisces, and they're willing to admit that they were wrong is kind of what I'm seeing here. They might be guilty. Sometimes Ten of Wands, I think of someone maybe carrying some guilt around or something, but if not, I kind of feel like this person is always like, no, Pisces will come back to me. I think this person is going to come crawling back to you. Okay, how they feel about you, the Ten of Cups. The Four of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Hierophant. They could be a water sign like you. got Sagittarius energy under the deck. No, this person wants you back. This, let me say it again. This person wants you back. This person wants to be in a relationship with you, Pisces. So, let me see. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. There's an apology card. Queen of Wands, out in the cold. Two of Coins couple of things here. They could have left someone else out in the cold. There may have been a third party, but I kind of feel like this person thinks of you as the queen of wands. Like this person thinks of you as this very attractive and that they left you out in the cold. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like this person doesn't want, want anything to happen to you. Out in the cold, the two of coins, seven of coins, king of swords. It's funny because I feel like this person feels like they have the upper hand at times or they try to be very stern with you or something like that. But underneath it all, I feel like this person really does love you. I feel like some of you, you may have been ignoring this person recently and just, you know, maybe that's what's making them come back. Okay, let's go to a different deck. I want to see what this person would say to you. What's this person going to say to Pisces? Your eyes are enchanting. Okay. My love for you will never change. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. Okay. I don't feel I deserve you. That's interesting. And I know I've let you down. Could be they don't know what to say to you. It's under the deck. Kind of weird energy. Like they're starting off by saying your eyes are enchanting. I mean, maybe they are. Maybe a beautiful eyes, Pisces. But um, 
Maybe they try to compliment you as a way to show you that they like you or care about you. My love for you will never change. I, yeah, I see some kind of head over heels for you. I do. What else would this person say to Pisces? I regret my past mistakes. It's not you, it's me. You will always have a special place in my heart no one else can fill. And we both changed a great deal. I fear you've moved on. I think they're just afraid you've moved on, period. I don't know if they've changed or anything. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm trying to get my other deck out here. All right, what is happening for Pisces? Social media, healing, unfinished business, and growing closer. This person wants to heal this with you. So they could be reaching out on social media. There may be something they saw or you saw on social media. But there's something here that they want to fix this. Pisces, so I don't I don't think you need to really worry. If you know who this person is, it could be a Capricorn. We got Taurus here, we got Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag. Pisces is here, that's you, I guess. I guess it could be another Pisces. Um, I'm sure there's other signs here I missed. But whoever this person is, this person's not over you. And they may be acting like they're they are, or they're hiding feelings for you, or something like that, but but um that's not true. Soulmate. This fell out. What else? Fun times. Parties, events, having fun. Soulmates having fun. And past love. In the past, past lover. I don't know if you guys been to a concert or a party or you guys are going to be going, going to be going to one in the future. Something like that is coming in here too. Soulmates having fun. Past love. In the past. Okay. You know, for somebody also, I'm kind of getting that you may have met this person someplace where there was a large crowd and like you guys lost touch or there was something like you guys didn't finish like talking or something like that. You may have like had to go home. Maybe you didn't really know who this person was, something like that. I get they will be finding you on social media. So some of you, there's a different connection here with this person. Like if there was a concert or a Coachella or something, you know, that you went to party and you met someone and you guys really hit it off, but you didn't like exchange you know, enough information, but I get this person will find you or you'll find them. Maybe some of you are looking online and, and cause didn't we have the, yeah, we had, this is why this is here. Someone's watching you or they're looking for, I get you. They're looking for you or you're looking for them. Yeah. I get this is looking once you guys find each other, then things will change. So they could have had red hair is also what I'm getting or something like that. You may have not even, I think they may not have, have even been a fire sign. They're just someone who's like very fiery, passionate or fun is kind of what I'm getting. So, all right. Anything else for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Did we do this deck? I don't think so. So I'm going to go to this deck. What is Pisces advice at this time? There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. So you guys really hit it off. There was an attraction. This person felt that attraction too. Maybe you get married. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. And this is faded. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting all that. So for some of you, this could be a faded relationship. You are meant to meet this person. And this could be something long-term. Um, for some reason, I feel like some of you don't think this person was going to be long term or something, or you thought maybe, you know, especially if you're like a party or something, you kind of thought, oh, no, this wasn't anything that was going to last. This could definitely be something that ends up coming back to your life and lasts for quite a while. Okay. I kind of get like when you're at least expecting this, it's going to happen, or it did happen. You weren't really looking for love. Okay. Give me one more card here. Someone is thinking of you. They're heartbroken. Wow. Something is growing closer. I know how to use this deck. I just want to see what else it says in different sentences. This is growing closer. Someone is listening to your intuition. I kind of feel like someone is being led to you also. Like again, maybe they don't know your full name or they don't know something about you. So it's hard for them to reach out. They're going to follow their inner guidance. Home intuition. Home is a mystery. See, they like, they don't know where you live or something. You may see them at a house or home, possibly depending on the circumstances as well, around October this month, Halloween. 
So maybe someone's going trick or treating too. Maybe some of you are taking your kids trick or treating. You could meet this, like run into this person again. Like for some of you, like it's going to be crazy how you see them the second time or something like that as well. That'd be funny though. Like if you're handing out candy and they came to your home or like they came to their, your home with their kid or something or something like that, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? And also like there you guys are together again. But look what's under the deck meant to be. I kind of feel like for some of you, like being apart, even if it's been like just a week, like you just met this person, you didn't think it was that big of a deal. It is a big deal. And it's kind of like led you to wondering about them. It's like the way this one's unfolding, this relationship is kind of weird, but it's meant to happen this way. All right, let me just pull one card from this deck, Pisces. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And look at wedding is under this one as well. That's crazy. You deserve love for yourself. Love yourself first. All right. Also, intuition guiding you somewhere to go somewhere to do something. Listen to your heart. You could run into this person like at the store or someplace else. So. I'm also getting looking them up online. Some of you are investigating or looking this person up and you'll find them. So what I'm getting, if it's meant to happen, unless spirit wants them to find you first, what else would this person want to say to you? So not wanting to make possibly amends. I see life differently now. I wonder how you feel and I love you unconditionally. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week.